Well, good morning, peoples. Oh, look at them tomatoes. Well, I hadn't been able to get out here in a couple days. We had rain, and uh, then yesterday I had to run around a whole bunch. Uh, one of my sons, he went out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got himself a job, another job. Uh, so, yeah, I was busy yesterday with him. And this morning, it's supposed to rain, but those taters, as you can tell, are... They're ready to get out the ground, so I need to do that. Got this swamp out here. If I could mow some of this before it rains, that would probably be a good idea. But we'll see what happens. There she is, boys and girls, fresh off her blockbuster video <laughs> making bread. Boy. <laughs> As there was a couple pauses there, I was like, would she shut up already? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Somebody requested it. We're right. happy to oblige. So, this is... Uh, so far, so good. What we getting out of uh, this one row of taters. Yeah. Uh, I got a few things I have to squeeze into this morning. The other potatoes aren't quite ready. No, no. We're definitely going to pick this one too. Yeah. yeah so yeah. this bed that we're standing in will get rained on when it dries up. I will retill it, re uh, remound it, and we'll plant. Uh, I guess uh, we're going to plant either peas or beans. 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 beans yes. We need to go over there and check those beans out. Yeah. They. No, I know we need yeah. to take them there and. Uh, uh, we get got. Ready. We ain't got but a couple hours to work, so. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let us get her done again. Oh. All right. I got to tell you something, though. Here's my public service announcement uh -oh. for today. Uh -oh. All right. There are some people. Now, I don't want to call them morons because they're morons, and that's not polite. <laughs> Look, you can't believe any of the news coming out of that Ukraine war. Okay, the Russians are disgusting people. That's a fact. They absolutely had no business invading the Ukraine. No matter what you think about the Ukrainians, all right, it doesn't matter. The aggressor absolutely cannot be allowed to profit. You idiots out there spreading that Russian disinformation let me tell you something. This is how World War III is starting. General Milley the other day talked to the West Point cadets and told them to expect war with Russia and China. Right. And you're still out there throwing this propaganda. Yes, Ukrainians are nasty. Yes, the Russians are nasty. No more nasty than us. What you're preaching makes absolute no sense. Knock it off, you liberals. Anyway, that's it for public service. <laughs> oh, like a bunch of children out there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, so, uh, I think this is, uh, these are, fifth, no, these are 20 foot beds, right? Oh, maybe? Yeah, about 20 foot. Maybe a little short of 20. I think so. And, uh, this is uh, right there, right here, uh, right there, and whoops, just stepped on one. Yeah, we kind of sorted them through. Yeah. Some of the bigger ones that you can just kind of bake yeah. right there. And I put the box on top of the mound. Yes. <laughs> that was on top of the ant mound, too. Yes, sir, it was. Yeah, I see the ants crawling all over that sucker. Oh, well. Ah, uh, all right. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna get a rake and come back and rake this just a little bit. Yeah, so it doesn't work the way. Yeah, and uh, then uh, yeah, we gotta go get some beans. See how much we got. Got a lot for the burn pile here. Yeah. Uh, why the burn pile and why not just compost it? Cause we found some squash vine borers in here. Yeah, we did. Little nasty fellers. 
All right. Ah, uh, you're here. I probably should have just. Oh, here. There it is. Yes. You had it in your hand. Yes. Yeah, there you it is. You got it? Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay, so do you remember that white bug we dug out? They don't fly, they don't fly away. I squished it. Yeah. They go underground and they become like this so that they can come up during the May and June months and destroy yeah. your crop, so. So, all right. We squished that cheese there. Okay. Okay. How did Man. that get Oh, oh well, yes. I think I was taking it. Oh yeah, you well, you I lay lay my lid. Lay yeah. Lay well, too. we uh, got them taters up. I've re-ranked it, uh, re-raked it. I put stuff in a pile to bring over there to my burn pile, and now we're getting started on uh, old people water break. What? Old people water, old people break. water <laughs> break. What you say, you mutter? I say that's <laughs> tough, you guys. It's tough, but, uh, but it's okay. Now yeah. the green beans, there's a few that are, that are good and a few that are not good yet. They need to grow a little longer. So I'm gonna pick as many as I can from the first and maybe even the second row, and then <sighs> let the ones there just kind of do their thing and grow some more. Yeah. I would have bad money I planted red beans but they're all green uh -huh. but we'll put beans on that next I'll row I'll eat them anyway I know we'll put like beans that. on that next row and then and on that bed we just emptied out oh yeah and then this particular bed but look the squash is not gonna last forever it's yeah. gonna pitter out and die oh, out I mean I just picked the really big ones and I got a lot of squash out of there yesterday I mean, yeah. her and the kids. I mean, you saw the table loaded up with squash. They, and you got to understand, that's that's only a portion of what we grew. Most of it we gave away. So, I so mean, we're going <clears> to... <throat> yeah. I'm going to... I looked up yesterday a recipe for zucchini bread. And I'm going to try to use some of the other squash. I'm going to make a test run today. Yeah. And see if they're any good. If they're good, we'll... We'll do that. But, uh... Yeah, I tell you. Yeah, ya. I got a... I got a uh, prediction, right? All you people out there believe in the media. I mean, I don't understand. Like, you didn't learn during Trump that everything the media, any media says, is BS, right? You people are going to wind up getting us locked down again over another fictitious disease called the monkeypox. The and monkey then they're going to steal another election, and it's on you. Wake up. Just turn off the media. It's just noise. It ain't real, people. Anyway, I digress. No more. No more monkey pox? Yeah, well, yeah, well, monkey pox, that's just their next rendition of COVID. These that people are filthy. That is funny stuff, Yeah, yo. they're baby killers, right? Isn't that what they called soldiers in Vietnam, baby killers? Now the liberals are literally killing babies. Good Lord. It yeah. filthy people. It's <laughs> tough out there, man. Yeah. I was watching the guy... I'm pretty sure it's Kerry. I didn't watch the whole thing. I was kind of listening to it while I was cooking and doing. But he was talking about, I guess that uh, Kirk Cameron has a, a show, or a movie that came out about taking your kids out of school and, yes, and homeschooling. And yes, I had to look him up on the internet to figure out who he was. He was on some serious. Some thing yeah. with a, a family or something, I guess. I don't remember the bunch name of, of that thing. and stuff. Anyways, he was there, and I guess he did all the things. I sort of remember watching some of those, those shows when I was uh, when I first got here. At any rate, he's talking to Ali Stucky, I think Alicia, Alice Stucky. I don't remember her name. Huh? Anyway, uh oh, fight cats, cat fight. Uh oh, uh, do you feel that? Yeah. No. I might not be able to get green beans. I didn't feel nothing. Nope. Anyways, to my bone because I'm feeling rain now. Imagination. Um, he was he's getting a lot of flack because he's talking about uh, bringing your kids out of school, yeah, homeschooling and all of that, and which we do, which was what I think an intended <laughs> unintended consequence of the pandemic. Yeah, that all of a sudden you got your kids at home and you're looking at what they're teaching them. You're gonna wait a minute. Right, I, I, yeah. So you're gonna. He's saying. He says you'll spend probably the first six months when you're 
deprogramming and getting to know each other as a fam as a proper family and 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 all of that and then the other point that he made was like oh god he says if you keep sending your sons to caesar would do not be surprised that they come back as romans yep <sighs> now that he did that's something that body bacham said a, yeah. a while ago and he said you know there was this preacher whatever but uh, it's true if you as a christian keep sending your kids even though to school and then they come back and they have all these weird ideas and then they go to college and they come back as a, other individuals don't be surprised you're sending them there for their indoctrination yeah now I we understand, right? That yes. not every parent can, can homeschool their yeah. kid. I get it. I get it. But let me tell you, don't think that you're not smart enough to do it, because there's books out there. I would there's recommend softwares. I would that you recommend that you get families together, and I mean like you get three, four families together and have one mother that's semi-intelligent homeschool all the kids and then you compensate her a little bit for her work yeah yeah I mean whatever it takes to get your children out of the public school system I was reading an article yesterday and one of those teachers unions actually asked Joe Biden if they could use the National Guard <coughs> against parents and these look, aren't your kids people look the, the other thing is a lot of uh, that requires a parent being home all the time okay it does now yeah. we're privileged in the way that I, I work from home and he's retired and all this stuff right but did you just say I was retarded you, <laughs> did you say I was retarded right <laughs> no honey anyway uh, and so you're just special you're just <laughs> special sweetheart but no well, look at listen do check your check your budget right what do you do that takes your funds out away from her? one of the biggest things that we had was the way we were eating we were obviously we grow a big garden and that's a lot of help but you know we give a significant amount of it away and that's the vast but, majority yeah. of it yeah and but that's not the point the, the thing is Okay, well, do you save every month to go on vacation, every year to go on a, a yearly, very expensive vacation? Wouldn't that be better put up to your, so that you can stay home, one of you, and feed your, and, and homeschool your children? I mean, do you pay yeah. for cable TV? Do you, ca you pay for fancy eating out? That's another thing. We were eating I out, mean, we and have, it was eating a lot of our budget. I mean, it's just the little yeah. things. And you we might got be able college graduates out there that absolutely can't think for themselves. All they have is catchphrases. Yeah, I mean... Uh, and, and no you, science to back it up, nothing. And if you check your budget, you might be yeah. surprised how you might be able to swing. Yeah, it'll be tough, we ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, and you won't be able to go on vacation and all of that, but look, remember what God said. Aren't your kids worth yeah. it? Yeah, ah. do not store for yourself treasures on this earth, but in heaven. Right. And if you just give up your, I mean, we didn't know all of this, right? And, but we, we, we refused to give our, yeah. We refused to not give our children to the government yeah. anymore, you know? I'm not sending my kids to Caesar. Yeah. I am not gonna have my kids turn out like the rest of these little disgusting rats. And all they've got is a catchphrase. Yep, yep. They don't understand if it has a heartbeat, it's alive, all right? Yeah. Come on, people. Have you been watching the protests? We did. Oh we watch a little bit here and there, but some of these people, I'm like, someone raised that child. Yeah. Someone raised that child, and you know who it was? Babysitters. Yep. You know, nannies. The school. The school. The after school program. Whatever people could do to keep from having to raise their children. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it was like. I remember when uh, our kids were real little, the school said that they had this after work, after school program. And now they told me what they were going to do at the after school program was they were going to help the children do all their homework, right? They had uh, teachers and, and, and uh, teachers' aides there. So after school, they were going to stay and, and do all their homework. Well, I'm terrible at homework, so I was like, okay, that sounds like a win. 
So after about three days, they're still coming home with all their homework. And I asked the kids, I am like, why don't you have your homework done? They go, oh, well, we don't do it at after school. I said, well, what do you do? He says, well, they feed us a snack and we play. There's no instruction, there's no teachers, there was just a student aide or whatever. So I called the school up and he goes, oh, no, no, you know, that's just uh, for parents that work late, you know, it's babysitting. I'm like, well, I don't need babysitting. So I pulled them out of that program and I suffered due to homework with them. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, and so you're sending them to school and then the after school program for like 12 hours a day. Oh my God. Yeah, and what what's going to happen when you bring them home, okay, you're going to realize that the amount of schoolwork that they did over eight hours, I right. think it's eight hours that are at school, you can probably get done in two hour to and a three, half to two, two hours. Two, three hours. <laughs> okay every day you do a little bit but then the rest and that is just like the math and and the english and all of that the rest of it and you okay. will also find out that they are not at the grade level or at the learning levels the schools tell you they are because my kids were in those accelerated classes yeah no they're nah, not. not after we tested them but look the other thing is you'll find out that the actual education starts once you put the books away okay you're gonna because now it's your you're teaching them work skills you're teaching them uh you're talking to them all the time about everything all the things yeah. and then that's when you educate i mean you know then you can take them and say okay well here's a house let's try to do all the things in here see which one you like you know which one calls to you yeah. But now they can't do that sitting in a classroom. The times are coming, and they're coming fast, that we're going to need... You're, you're pointing over there somewhere. No, see, this is the oh, thing that's that is, Oh, you. okay. Anyway, the times are coming, and they're coming fast, that we're going to need children with common sense. Children and young gentlemen and young ladies that can think for themselves. Yeah. Children that don't believe that woke bullshit. Sorry. People that can absolutely reason a problem out without using a catchphrase. Someone that can tell you their opinion and defend it with actual knowledge and not lunacy. I mean, I agree. Yeah, this is what's happening, people. I mean, this has stopped being about us. It stopped being about the price of gas. It stopped being about the price of the food. This is an all-out war for our children. Yeah. All right, and they are our children, not their children. Yeah. And I mean, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm passionate about this because I see, and I live in rural Texas, and I see it here. Yep. I do. Yep. And it's, I mean, it's nowhere near as bad as it was when we lived in California. And my friends that are all over the country are telling me how bad it is in their schools. But yeah, I mean, you know, this is crazy. You have 3% of the population, and you give them a full month, uh, pride month, a, a full month of history on it, right? You oh, have a, next month yeah, is coming up. And it's coming up, and then you have 12% of the population. Figure that out, 12% of the population. And they get an entire month, you know? History month, right? I mean, oh my God, can't you see what they're doing? This is a full-blown war. But wrap it up. All right, yeah, I'm done wrapping. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> you yank my that. chain. <laughs> All I gotta do is go like this. You win. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> we had anticipated. Yeah, I don't think we had as much time as we did. Uh, yeah, well, we got that them there green beans. Watch I yourself. And a third of the green beans are Taters. ready. Taters. Zucchini. Look at this one right here. Oh, oh. Anyhow, man. Breakfast? Oh, thank you, my dear. The problem with this is, is uh, <laughs> we're out here. And we need to go over there. Yeah, we need to put the potatoes out. This was know. not well thought out. No. I need to get the key and uh, <laughs> unlock the she shed. Here, hold this. 
Mm. All right, well, wait a minute. Maybe it stopped a little bit. It slowed down. Slow it was down. just a quick, a quick shower, I think. Yeah. But it was a good one. <laughs> ah, let me go see if I can get this stuff in under cover. Okie doke. All right. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to move out of the way. Yeah. Ooh, you see how the light changed? But I think the rain is mostly done for this morning. We do have a... Uh, we have a... Um, rain pronosticated? Front pronosticated? Is that the word? For the rest of the day and tomorrow. Look at my peppers, you guys. I'm gonna brag on them. How pretty are they? And then... This weed, it's just... As soon as it rains, it starts to say, hey, I like it. Let's go back. There's ants there, too. Oh, my. Anyways, I planted my peppers, and I also planted some flowers in between them. Let me see if they, they're okay. And, ah, you know what? The catnip, too. But I can't remember what I did with the catnip. Okay, flower there. Plant some more pepper there. Hmm, wonder where the catnip went. Maybe died. That would be a shame. Huh. Like, you know what? It helps sometimes if I put my glasses on. Oh, I think my catnip died. Maybe it was too hot in the last few days. Maybe didn't like it back here. Mm, peppers are good though. This one's getting huge. Let me see. Oh well, I don't see my catnip anywhere. Maybe it's drawn by the weed. Uh, I'll look it, I'll look for it. If I find it, I'll let you know. Anyways, I think we're done for now. We got rain done. We're moving on. Okay, bye. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I was way back yonder. <laughs> oh my God. Way back yeah. yonder. Anyhow, let me see. I got it under cover over here, so I guess we were called due to rain, so got a few squash, a couple of buckets here of uh, taters, a few green beans. That'd be enough for dinner, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have green beans for dinner. Green bean casserole! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, folks, I'm sorry about that rant, but, you know, it's just... Look around. I mean, you know, it is like, uh, yeah, schools aren't really schools anymore. It's an indoctrination program. And, uh, oh, well. Okay. Hey, cat. Hey, pika, 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 pika. What's up? This here is Pinky. Bye, Pinky. <laughs> Bye, Pinky. Bye, Pinky. Pinky don't like, he's camera shy. Yeah. yeah um, everything up here is doing okay. Hey, look at the bright side. We got our shower in for today. You think that's going to be enough for you? Uh, well, this wasn't supposed to happen for another couple hours, but we got this, and then we'll get more here in a few hours. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not done. You know what this is? What is? I mean, but that's sweet potato slips. Oh. Remember last year we had some Yeah, you had over? sweet taters in here. Interesting. I'm going to just let Kohlrabi them Kohlrabi volunteers. Yeah. Got some good. of them over here, too. If y'all ain't never had kohlrabi, it is good. Yeah, y'all need to. We, uh, we had a bunch growing, but we caught it, uh, a late frost. And, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. This year we did. We had a whole bunch back there in the back. But then we had those uh, two frosts. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't frost. It was way below freezing. It was terrible. Uh, horrible. Well, uh, I heard this lady. She said what happened was it came so fast. And the usually as the, the, the reason these plants are frost hardy is because they have... They, as the temperature goes down, they have time to adapt, oh. and uh, their cells do this thing and that thing, and so they 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 have time to adapt to the weather. But we had what 80 degrees that night. Yeah. We had we went to bed with the AC on, and we woke up to turn the heater on. Yeah. 
And it, that's it? Yeah, it got down to like 24. Yeah, they had no yeah. to do anything. Hey, Hal, I shall leave you with uh, just a teensy-weensy view of the backyard. I left uh, a good section of the forest. I'm really glad I did. And then we grow there in between. That's so cool. We are blessed. I mean, good Lord gave us this. And uh, how could we not share? And that's my glove. Uh-oh. I shall go take a look. You want me to go take a look with you? Oh, sure. You could come. All right, you guys. That's way. it for today. Uh, yep. Not much is going on. All right. You have a beautiful day. Bye. As you can see, I have changed my clothes. And she's going to feed me. How about this? Another food today. Feed first time all week. Oh, shoo, 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 shoo. Anyhow, today was a blessed day. Let me see your shirt, sweetheart. I uh, don't know what it is. It's a Mayan temple and a jaguar. It's supposed to change colors in the sun, the man said. So anyhow, we had totally, we knew my friend was coming in from uh, California. California. He lives part-time here, part-time there, uh, more there than here. He flies into Houston, he's got a truck that he keeps in a parking thing over there and drives. We totally forgot he was coming in. So right after it rained on us, I looked up there in the front yard and I'm like, dang, that looks like my buddy's truck. And there he was standing there and I'm like, oh man. You're not even looking at the camera, Dad. I'm looking at the camera. You are now, but before you weren't. I am too. Before you weren't. <laughs> I think she called me stupid. I think that's what she called me as well. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, anyhow, that's it for today. Uh -huh. Ta-ta for now, as she says. Ta-ta for now.